Here's Crimea River, written in 1955 for Julie London. It was a big hit for her in that same year. As usual, I'm playing on a tenor ukulele with a low G string. I'll play it down for you and then go back and explain what I'm doing. Let me show you the chords and the progressions first, and then I'll go back and show you how I'm using them to play the chord melody arrangement. I start out with a B minor chord, and then put this finger on it to make it a B minor 9. And then I'm going to go to an E minor 7, A13, D major 7. It doesn't matter about these names. This is the major jazz pattern that's what we call the B shapes in Jazz Ukulele Workbook number one. Starts here, goes to here, and then ends up here on this D major seven. And then we're gonna to go to a B13, right out of the workbook, and then to an E13, again out of the workbook, and then to a B flat seven. This is just like an A7, but I just lifted it up here with the bar and back, and the A7, and end on the D major seven. Okay, how I use them to create the chord melody, this is what I do. I start with this B minor 9, and it just walks right down. And then I'm going to go here to the E minor 7 chord. I play the chord first and then come up here. Then I play the A13. And then I alter it by lowering this note and then play the D major 7. And then my pickup notes to the B13. And I'm essentially just using this melody. But I add this to it at the end of it. And then back. It's all to B13, but I'm just altering it with these extra notes. And then I go to the E9, which is out of the workbook, just like that. It's just stopping right here. I don't play this string. And then play it open. And then here to a, the B flat 7, but I only play the first three strings. I don't play this one. And I'm going to finger it this way melody, then do the A7, and then this is a D note, and I'm going to strike a D major 7 at the very end. And I go to this chord, which is an E flat 9 chord, and just tack this uh, jazz tone on top of it. And then D major 7. Then I do a little scale run up and end on this D6-9, which is the companion to this D major 7. I forgot to mention, in between the two verses, I'm playing a minor jazz pattern that you find in workbook number one. It's a C sharp minor 7 flat 5, just a minor jazz pattern. This chord here to this chord shape.
This is that pair of chords that's always found together, the minor jazz pattern. And once I'm here, I just lift it up. It's the same chord, just lifted up the ukulele. And then it takes me back to 